And I also know that that is exactly the type of stuff Jacqueline Wilson seems to have a fetish for. <laughs> no way. And then the book just ends there. I'm not even kidding. Hey guys! I am Charlotte the Starlet. These are my girls, Angel and Glitter, and this is my little boy, Seth. Today we're reacting to the story of Tracy Beaker by Jacqueline Wilson. Now, since I am a mystery slash thriller writer, I don't just react, I review. And the way I do it is simple. If I like something, I add a point, starting from the last video's total. And if I don't, I'll take one off. Right. Let's jump in. Tracy is still trying to convince Cam to foster her, but all of her answers imply that her answer is no. They finally got to Cam's house. Bruh! <laughs> Tracy's in legit shock at the state of Cam's house. The terms she uses for it are weenie, shabby, and in far worse nick than the home. Home with a capital H, so the care home. And Tracy makes a little promise to herself that she'll make Cam write better books when she moves in with her. Wow, okay. Tracy just came back from her little outing with Cam, a potential foster mom. Actually at this point Cam has said no I will not foster you Tracy about two dozen times um, but that hasn't stopped Tracy from becoming attached so now that she's back at her care home she's bragging about everything she went out and did with Cam. Like Normally, for a normal person, that would be rude. That would be straight up rude. But for Tracy, considering that she is a kid whose parents don't want her and she hasn't gone out in who knows how long, I'll look the other way. <laughs> I'll let it slide. Like, I get why she's excited. I get why she'd want to show off. You know, she had a really nice time and she's still excited about the fact that she had a nice time. So it's not quite the same as someone like just showing off. Anyway, when she gets back, she makes a beeline for her best friend, I guess, at the care home. Um, this little boy called Peter. He's also had a day out with this old couple who want to look after a boy like him like they're peter's potential foster parents so just like tracy did with cam peter went out with them to get to know them and stuff but when he tells tracy about it she assumes that it was terrible she assumes that this old couple are grouchy and mean and that peter had an awful time going out with them but even when Peter corrects her and tells her, um, it wasn't that bad, actually, he went out with them for fish and chips, just like he used to do before his grandparents died. So it wasn't just any old fish and chips outing. But still, Tracy was like, <laughs> my day was still better than yours just because she and cam went to mcdonald's and had a big mac and chips and then smarties and a whole birthday cake like that doesn't necessarily make your day better than peter's tracy oh i'm regretting saying that i'll let it slide now <laughs> like she she's doing the most bro okay so it's very very clear that tracy is jealous that this old couple want to foster peter like for real they're not just thinking about it like can said she is 
after Tracy kept persisting. But yeah, this old couple want to foster Peter straight away as soon as they can, which Tracy ain't happy about. Because if Peter gets fostered before her, she will lose her only friend in the care home. And Tracy makes it clear that she feels this way. Like, she's kind of making Peter feel guilty for getting fostered. And so, Tracy, I mean Peter, <laughs> Peter tries reassuring her that even if he gets fostered, and even if she gets fostered, they'll still be best friends. Man, I miss these days, bruh. <laughs> this, this was the kind of stuff, um... <laughs> me and my friends were saying to each other in like our last year at primary school <laughs> like some of my class did end up going to the same secondary school as me but for the people that didn't <laughs> i'd have conversations like this with uh but the sad thing is <laughs> we didn't <laughs> now i hardly speak to any of them honestly the most i see is like an instagram post Oh my gosh okay so they decide to make a pact to stay best friends no matter what happens like oh my days this is so cute then tracy shares the rest of her cake with peter and then goes around the rest of the care home and shares the rest of her smarties with everyone else pretty much starting with the newest girl at the care home she and louise are trying on each other's clothes which she seems to be something louise does a lot like i swear she's done it with tracy and justine and now this new girl and then tracy goes up to justine who's sitting by the window on her own sniffling which means she's been crying she was meant to go out with her dad but he never turned up again seems like he's got a bit of a track record for this oh snap justine's got like a plaster on her face which means that she got hurt somehow bet she got in another fight <laughs> at least it wasn't with tracy this time oh my days instead of giving justine a smarty like she was doing with the other kids when Tracy goes up to Justine, she gives her the Mickey Mouse pen that she got from Cam. Is she feeling okay? Like, what? Is it to make her feel better? Wow. <laughs> and then Tracy's like, I hope I can get another one. Like, another pen. When she sees Cam again next weekend. No way. So, <laughs> after Tracy implies that she's gonna be seeing cam again the next weekend she also implies that cam does end up fostering her and then the book just ends there i'm not even kidding so i'm guessing cam does end up fostering tracy i'm not sure though like <laughs> why can't we get a concrete answer of all the books to pull this trick though really <laughs> the story of tracy beaker like does does jacqueline wilson expect me to to fill in the blanks or to come up with my own sort of ending because the ending I want and Tracy wants is the ending where Cam um, does end up fostering Tracy. I wonder what would happen in another universe though. I'm sorry I'm this person but I believe in alternate universes and alternate timelines so if Tracy ends up getting fostered in this universe Maybe in a different one she wouldn't. She... Oh no, that's sad. But I also really do wonder. <laughs> like, would she just be stuck in the care home until she's like 18 or something? Anyway, I guess that's where I'm gonna leave it. Not that I have a choice. <laughs> I really didn't expect the book to just end here. But it turns out it did. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you did, Make sure to give the like button and the notification bell a little kiss and subscribe to become a starlet. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram and Tumblr and 
we need a new book now so suggest something in the comments what's interesting about this is that on one side it's the story of tracy beaker but on the other side Bruh. there's another book <laughs> the other book is called the worry website it's written by the same author and illustrated by the same guy as well and it seems to be a book about the struggles that different kids are having like i don't know getting a new step parent or their parents not having enough money or maybe there's a kid that has to look after sick parents i don't know those are just things that i know children and <laughs> adults deal with and i also know that that is exactly the type of stuff jacqueline wilson seems to have a fetish for that is right up her alley so if you want me to take a look at it i will but yeah anyway i'll see you guys later bye